Welcome to Electro Online. In this example, we're going to do a projectile problem, a little bit different from the norm. We're given the initial velocity to be 23.1 meters per second, and we're told that the projectile reaches a maximum height of 16.9 meters. The question is, what angle is required for us to reach that maximum height? And of course, we're going to need the equations of kinematics. The question is, which one? So what we can realize here is that we want to look in the y direction only because we're given a limit in the y direction and we know that the initial velocity in the y direction will be equal to the initial velocity times the sine of the angle theta. Alright, so first what we're going to do is we're going to do everything in terms of the velocity in the y direction and we know that the velocity at the top portion in the y direction will be zero. We also don't know how long, how long or we don't know the time that it will take for the object to reach the maximum height. So there's no time given. We know the velocity at the top is going to be zero in the y direction. So it looks like this equation right here where there is no time involved may be the right equation to use. So that's kind of the hint. In addition to that, realizing that the final velocity when we reach the maximum height will be equal to zero. So then everything can be written in terms of the initial velocity which of course we'll call v initial in the y direction, g which is a known quantity, and the change in the y direction which is also known quantity so that looks like the right equation to use. So let's start with that one. So we can write that v... Okay, so now we're going to solve for the initial velocity in the y direction. So the initial velocity in the y direction squared is equal to vy squared minus, when we bring this across, 2 times g times delta y. Alright, so now we realize that this is going to be equal to 0, so we get v initial y squared is equal to minus 2 times a minus 9.8, and the change in the y is from 0 to a maximum of 16.9, and finally, when we take the square root of both sides, we get v initial in the y direction is equal to the square root of 2 times 9.8, because the negatives cancel out, times 16.9. All right, now let's find our calculator here. Let's see what that's equal to. So v initial in the y direction is equal to 18.2 meters per second. All right, well that still doesn't tell us the angle, but what we can do is realize, well, let's see here, we know that v initial in the y direction is going to be v initial times the sine of theta, and we know v initial. So we have a triangle there. Let's think about the triangle. So we have the initial velocity in this direction, we have the initial velocity in the y direction like this, and we have this angle right here. So I'm going to take this component and move it over to this side, so now it looks like this. And this here will be v initial, and this here will be v initial in the y direction, which is equal to v initial times the sine of theta. And then here we have the angle theta. So we know that the sine of theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And of course the opposite side that's going to be equal to v initial in the y direction. And the hypotenuse is going to be v initial. So that means that theta is going to be the inverse sine of that ratio of v initial in the y direction divided by v initial. And finally we can say that theta is equal to the inverse sine of v initial in the y direction, which we found to be 18.2, divided by v initial, which was given to be 23.1. And now all we have to do is find the inverse sine of that quantity. So theta equals 52 degrees is the angle required to reach a maximum height of 16.9 meters when the initial velocity is 23.1 meters per second. And that's how it's done. 